What's up, Navigating Academia family? This is your buddy, Dr. Jay Phoenix Singh, your personal academic mentor, coming at you to be able to answer a valued viewer's question. Now, you guys know that I love you. Do me a huge favor and smash that like button before we get started with today's Q&A. In addition, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and be sure to share all these videos with your friends, colleagues, and students who you think may enjoy them. Also, if you comment below, it helps the algorithm a huge amount, even if you just say that you enjoy the channel or you hate me, whatever it is, trust me on this one, helps the the algorithm. So let's go ahead and read this question, which is from a video that is called, Should You Negotiate Salaries During Postdoc Interviews? Which was actually the answer to another viewer's question. So today's question is also about postdoctoral fellowships, okay? And this one is kind of like a moral conundrum, so I figured that I would share with you, uh, because this is something that maybe some of you are going through right now. In particular, the case may be that this is happening to you right now, because funding oftentimes is really low, especially when it comes to postdocs in different departments. So let's go ahead and just read here this question from Abhishek. So Abhishek says, great content for a lot of students aspiring to do postdocs and go into academia. Thanks, mate. I've got a question. I'm currently finishing my PhD this year, and I have a collaboration with a professor abroad, so in another country. And he had promised me a postdoc position in his lab, but he currently is unsure due to some of due to some of his reasons. So he's he's unsure whether or not he can give Abhishek this uh, this postdoc. Okay. So in my case, Abhishek asks, do I apply elsewhere or wait for his position to open up at his lab? And is it ethical to apply for two to three postdoc positions in parallel? In other words, at the same time. So uh, Abhishek, I completely understand uh, this situation and I want to give big kudos to you uh, for actually not only asking this question, but for being concerned about this uh, because this is one of these situations where it shows how much respect you have for this individual, this potential mentor who is working abroad. So I have a lot of respect for you that you have enough respect for him for you to be able to ask this question. So the short answer is that it is fine, it is ethical, it is morally sound for you to apply to most multiple postdoctoral fellowships in parallel. Remember that just because you don't work with a particular scholar in your postdoc doesn't mean you won't have the opportunity to be able to have a long, long mentor or just collegial relationship with them after you finish your postdoctoral fellowship. Postdocs usually range anywhere between one to three years. Sometimes they go on as long as five years. In the one craziest instance that I've ever heard of, it lasted 10 years, which was wild, but uh, was in a country where uh, postdocs don't happen often. So it's another story for another day, maybe. But long story short, it is fine for you to apply to multiple postdocs uh, in parallel. Uh, it is not disrespectful to this potential mentor. My recommendation is that if you do get an actual offer of a postdoc in another lab, that is when you would approach this mentor to be able to kind of let them know the situation and have a conversation with them. Don't just say, I have another postdoc, see ya, right? No, that's, that's disrespectful, right? And you sound like somebody who is very respectful. So that would be my recommendation there. Uh, this does happen quite a bit. People in other countries oftentimes, and you're talking to a guy who did two PhDs in two different countries, was faculty, was a law school faculty member in Israel, uh, was a, a Department of Epidemiology, a tenured full professor in Norway. I, I've worked in enough countries to know that sometimes when folks are working abroad and essentially they're quote unquote promising you postdoctoral positions or positions period, you should not trust that that is true. There's a great saying, it actually comes from a Russian saying. In the US people talk about you know Ronald Reagan, former president having saying it, but it's actually a Russian saying. And the saying is trust but verify. So I'm a big believer in giving everybody respect right off the bat. They can lose it, Right, uh, but it's not something where people come in and they basically have to prove themselves worthy of my respect. Right, I understand that concept, and people's respect in my eyes can go up, but there is a baseline level of respect for like every human being. Right, now why do I mention this? Well, this is something that when you're applying to these programs. Uh, you know, you always just need to be aware that people promising you things can be hollow promises. Uh, I told a former assistant of mine once, and I genuinely believe it, mate, that uh, you always should do the right thing, but you cannot assume that just because you do, that other people will do the same for you. 
Of course, I am hoping that this is a situation where the uh, potential collaborator, the postdoc mentor, was serious. And maybe it was due to the COVID-19 pandemic or some similar situation in their country that all of a sudden funding was not available, in which case you'll need to make the call in terms of would you be okay going for another postdoc or do you want to roll the dice and risk it and say maybe I'll wait a year and then all of a sudden I'll go and be a, you know mentored by that individual, right? Um, again, that is a really heavy gambit though to be able to take one full year off at this point in your career very very dangerous it's very easy to become complacent uh, no matter how hard working somebody is the postdoc is a time period for you to essentially simultaneously decompress from the graduate school years but also ramp up for the start of your career and so that's the important thing for you to know is that you need to balance these two different sides of the scale and decide kind of what's best for you but this is a very long winded way made of saying it is fine for you to be able to apply for multiple postdocs simultaneously with different scholars. The only thing I'll say about that though is that you should not apply for multiple uh, to uh, a single postdoc with multiple different mentors. In other words, let's say that you have University X uh, and in the one department there are three different uh, kind of colleagues that you'd love to work with, future colleagues you'd love to work with. You should not apply three times to the same department, obviously. It is actually okay for you to apply to a postdoc, uh, let's say that's offered by two different departments at the same university, right, with two different mentors, but it's not okay in the same department, two different mentors, if this makes sense, okay? So again, any clarifying questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below. Appreciate you guys as always. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, share with your friends, colleagues, and students. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.